What's going on guys, it's Alex here from Outdoors 55 and today we're going to be starting a new night building project. I don't know what it is lately but I've had a string of failures which kind of explains the lack of knife making videos. Um, let's see, failure, failure, failure. So hopefully this video I don't fail because no matter what I'm going to make a video of it and post it on YouTube. Some of you guys have been wondering where the knife making videos were. Well, that's exactly where. Uh, I failed the last three blades that I made, uh, mainly because I was trying uh, stuff that I've never done before and it just, for whatever reason, hadn't worked out. So, um, hopefully this one turns out. All right, our bevels are ground. Uh, it's kind of rough now, it's a 120 grit belt, but after heat treating, I'll come back and clean the bevels up and uh, it'll be all nice and good. So for now, I think we are, I think we're ready to heat treat. So I'm just giving the blade a quick sand back to 120 grit to remove the scratches that we may have uh, caused when we did the grinding and uh, then we can go ahead and heat treat. All right guys, just want to mention here real quick that I'm doing three normalization cycles followed by, I guess what is called the quench cycle, if that's a thing. But anyway, three normalization cycles and then the quench. I'm quenching in canola oil heated to around 140 degrees and I'm going to do the tempering inside my home oven at 400 degrees. If you have any other questions about what I'm doing here during the heat treating process, I'll leave a link to a video down below where I explain it in more detail. All right guys, so it is the next day. Got the blade all tempered up, tempered it for two one hour cycles at 400 degrees. Got a nice light straw color on the blade. Not sure if you can see that or not. Now it's time to finish grinding the bevels. Then we're gonna do our finished sand, drill a couple holes, which I forgot to do yesterday, and then work on the scales. And it is absolutely pouring outside. This is like, I think the fifth solid day of rain we've had, crazy.
All right, now it's time to cut the pins. The pins I'm using are titanium. They're hollow pins, which is kind of cool. And sorry about the noise if you can hear it. They've literally been outside my house working for the past two years. Not sure when they're gonna be done. And I don't even think they know when they're gonna be done, but that's government for you. Alrighty then, I think it's time to work on our scales. This is probably the worst part, is marking out and drilling these things. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like doing this. I think it's because there's so much room for air, like one little mistake will ruin your whole project. So this G10 is super nasty to work with and I try and cut off as much as I possibly can. That way when I take it to the sander I just have less dust floating around my shop. All right guys, so we got everything prepped. We got our scales prepped, our pins prepped. Only thing we gotta do now is hand sand our blade to about 600 grit, and then we'll epoxy everything together.
Well, now it's time to wait 24 hours. See you tomorrow.